guys and welcome to today's vlog. It is currently 12.02 and it's Monday, November 20. And I am basically here at my hair dresser's um, hair appointment because I have a hair appointment. I'm getting my hair done. Um, so I am actually two minutes late so I'm gonna head in. I will see you guys in a little bit and I will keep you guys updated. So I am just currently waiting to get called. Um, I'm just sitting here. I'm not really gonna do anything crazy with my hair. I'm just gonna get a touch up on my root and that's pretty much it. So I'm just waiting. Oh, and I got some Starbucks because I need my coffee for the day. I'm literally just like running on empty right now. So I'll keep you guys updated. It is awesome. But yeah, so I almost told you, let's get extensions. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't need it. Yeah. 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 And your hair is really healthy because it's holding all kinds of water. Like when it drips like that, it's holding. Really? Because the water that can be healthy or it would not hold water if you already dry. Like my hair, it's like dry. Really? That's good to know. I know I have to go. Am I doing a trim? Yeah. <laughs> like a slight, like, very, very little trim. I'm trying to my hair grows so it's bad. I know. But I was telling Vanessa, like, I want it to my butt long, like, Rapunzel long right now. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, Nikki, because it's getting longer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Nikki. Damn. Like this. Throwing it, whipping it back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> oh, no joy. I know, I know. And when your hair was that long, you said, Chop it, Vanessa. Chop it. <laughs> okay, look down for me. Oh, cute sandals. Thanks. I think I have a pair of those, but it had a it has a back. Does that have a back? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Combing, I mean, the likeliness of me grabbing and kind of ironing in this mess is going to be happen more. But even then, if I don't hold on, mm -hmm. there's still other areas where the hairs will fly. This gives me complete, total control on direction. So that when I go in, I can fully like direct that hair going straight, straight down. So every time it goes through the, the blade, it's going straight. Gotcha. Mary, take that and plug it in somewhere else. Is it 
I'm also going slow instead of going really fast because now I only went over it one time opposed to going over it 500 times fast. If you go too fast, then it doesn't completely heat or shut that cuticle down. So that's why this is called a one pass straightening iron. But it also forced me to slow down because there's rubber inset. Oh. And just going over it one time. One time. That's it. One time I walk shine in everything. I don't have to go over it again and again. Alright guys, so I'm asking my hairdresser, Vanessa, <laughs> if she has any tips for you guys as far as like color treated hair, what we what we can do to upkeep it or anything like that. So this is her answer. So I would say um, basically just utilizing the right product. You want to use a good shampoo and conditioner that isn't going to strip your color too much if you're applying a base um, or even glazes, toners. Um, I've heard those things called sealers, whatever. They're all the same. And basically you want to just not break down that color. You want to keep it the full six, however long it typically uses. And so with Joy, we have her on a care stock. It is not bad on her color. It isn't aggressive or anything like that, all the while giving her tons and tons of moisture. Um, and also because Joy's hair is straight, but it has the tendency to be more dry and still have kind of a funny texture to it. Not bad yeah. because it gives her amazing volume too, but because of that, I still gotta like really um, baby it and give her max amount of moisturizer. So then after that, we ended up going in with a leave-in treatment and an oil together. And um, I was explaining to her as well that we don't wash her hair every single day, but even if we're going to apply a dry shampoo, that it is crucial to also add a little more oil to condition those ends. So, um, like, what I like to use is my, um, my Shiomura. And what I do is I will typically spray it right onto my brush. This is a wet to dry brush. I use this if I'm gonna dry, if I'm gonna brush my hair wet or if I'm gonna next day brush it um, without yanking on my tangles and breaking my hair. So I'll go in and I'll just spray a little bit in there. That way I'm not getting a ton, but I'm giving my hair back just enough oil. Oh my god, it and it brings that shine without giving me oil in it. Wow. And that made, that made a difference. <laughs> because your hair will bounce back. It'll curl better. It'll do all those things ten times better when it's moisturized. It doesn't seem like it would, but it will. It'll bounce back. Like my, I could have done this yesterday, do it again today, and then I brush it out like that. It'll bounce back because I'm adding that moisturizer into it, and it's healthier. Does what you want. That is awesome. Thank you so much. So yeah, those are some good tips, you guys. So definitely keep that in mind. And um, anything else? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah. Until next time, guys. We'll see you guys. All right, guys. So I just left my salon, and my hair feels so good feels so fresh and she really just barely trimmed it because I am actually in the process of growing out my hair um I wanted it to be I want it so long I don't know why I'm just like fascinated with long hair right now so I want it super super long so I don't want to cut too much off so you guys got some tips from my hairdresser Vanessa I seriously have been going to Vanessa for so, so long, and she just really knows how to take care and manage my hair. She knows the health of my hair. She knows the integrity of my hair, and I trust her wholeheartedly. So I wanted her to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to take care of your color treated hair if you do dye your hair on a, like on a normal basis. So yeah hopefully you guys got some good tips from her and um and are willing to really just take care of your hair and allow your hair to just be as natural as can be um 
even though you do color treat it or you know whatever the case is that you're still taking care of it with like the proper products and proper grade products so make sure that you're really investing because it is your hair and you want to take care of it okay so currently it is about 2 35 in the afternoon and i'm actually getting ready to go back home to meet my husband and we're gonna go get some lunch and run some errands so i'm gonna go back home and i shall see you soon okay so also i wanted to apologize um for when i did vlog in the car um you guys might be hearing like this rattling noise or whatnot I apologize just because my camera is actually sitting on on the dashboard I don't really have like a legit like a camera holder or anything like that so if it's rattling or moving around or just really just is not uh, focused or whatever um I apologize in advance um I will be investing in a camera holder um, for my car but right now it is actually really conveniently on my dash um it's right beside my um or right beside my screen which is like my navigation screen or whatnot so it's convenient because it stays and it doesn't move and I really like it there but it does make a lot of noise um so yes again I'm currently driving back home to go meet up with my husband I'm gonna go scoop him up and we're gonna run our errands for the day I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go just yet but um, I will keep you guys updated for sure